Hello my dear students welcome back to my channel today in this video we are going to learn an english poem of class 9 the name of the poem is geography lesson and it's written by zulfikar ghosh so this geography lesson is a poem it's not related to geography but there are some question which arises in the poet's mind and it is answered by some of the natural uh, resources and the things which he sees around so thus he has mentioned it as geography lesson so let us see what do we have to read in this poem but before that students if you are viewing my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos do watch the video till end and if you like it hit the like button and do not forget to share with your friends too okay so let's move on to the poet part let us know about the poet zulfikar ghosh so this poet he was born in sialkot india which is now located in pakistan he was born on march 13 1935 he is a novelist a poet and an essayist After the partition of India, Goes and his family emigrated to England, where he completed his education and took up the teaching profession. Then later he went to America and since then has lived in Texas. So from there he has been writing his uh, many poets and many works he has been doing. So one among it is today's poem which we are going to read that is geography lesson. So let us start. stanza wise we'll just see first we'll read the stanza and then we are going to understand its meaning okay so first stanza goes like this when the jet sprang into the sky it was clear why the city had developed the way it had seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile okay so here we understand that the poet is sitting in a plane in a aircraft and he saying that when the jet sprang when his uh, uh, aircraft it's going um, up in the sky it's springing into the sky now it is getting clear he is getting this uh, answer for himself that now it's clear for me that why the city had developed the way it had he used to think why the cities are so congested so big when we are on land we have some other way around to see the city so when he sees the same thing from above from the sky when he's sitting in a jet he feels that he understands now why the city is the way uh, developed the way it has been developed now he says that he is saying it scale 6 inches to the mile some of them are having the difference of 6 inches some to the mile it's some of uh, some of the places are having little bit gap some are having more gaps so like this different things and scenes he is saying from above and he is getting the clear idea like why and how the city has been developed the way it has now then second stanza there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky so now in second sense he is saying that when i was on the ground when i looked the city it looked everything haphazard like everything was carelessly made we were not able to identify uh, where is the prop why is it so congested or why is it just fixed one after the other and it looked so unplanned everything just one besides the other without any style and any design but when i was in the jet and it sprang into the sky and i'm from where from there i'm seeing the city i understood that it is not in haphazard way but it is in a proper manner from above you see the something which is very perfectly made there is no haphazard manner which it looks like when we are on land everything was arranged in a proper order so he understands oh when we go down it looks haphazard but it's not exactly like that from above when you see it's everything properly arranged okay then further he says when the jet reached 10000 feet it was clear why the country had cities where rivers ran and why the valleys were populated so now when he sees from the jet when he is some uh, something about 10000 feet above the ground level he says that now it is clear like why the country 
is all uh, always civilized or developed near the rivers wherever you find a near you, you rivers you find near that that there are villages and valleys and the people are uh, habiting there so why is it so because there are many resources which can be used by the people and that is why the valleys are populated more people uh, choose or select to stay there or live there because they get much of the natural resources and easy for them to live their living so that is why he's getting this uh he's understanding this when he is in the jet and when he's seeing the view from ten thousand feet above okay and then he says the logic of geography that land and water attracted men was clearly delineated when the jet reached ten thousand feet then he also says that the logic of the geography that is the land and water attract men that was understood by him like if there is land and water nearby if rivers are flowing and why is it so that it is populated near water because it has many resources which can which a human can use it for his daily life so that is why land and water attracted men and this logic of geography i understood when i was 10000 feet above okay from there i saw and that time it got it clear in my mind and it was clearly delineated means it was clear, clearly describing the outline and all the boundaries he could see properly arranged in a manner nothing was haphazard from above he could see everything properly the forest areas and the cities and the rivers flowing and the populated area everything properly arranged in a proper manner but the same thing if you come on the ground you are not able to see that perfectness okay that so all these answers he is getting from the jet when he's seeing from there when the jet rose six miles high it was clear that the earth was round and that it had more sea than land but it was difficult to understand so now he's saying when the jet rose more high and it went about six miles high now it was clear for him that the earth was round now he's understanding that the earth is round and then it had some more sea than land and from above he could identify that there are more number of seas and water bodies than the land that is why it looks like blue bluish color the earth is blue in color because it has more number of water bodies so that was also clear from six miles above when he was flying in the jet but there is one thing which was difficult to understand you know let us see what is that but it was difficult to understand that the men on earth found causes to hate each other to build wall across cities and to kill from the height it was not clear why so very last stanza the poet says that everything was clear from above but just only one thing it was very difficult to understand that why men on earth found the causes and the reasons to hate each other why do they build the wall across the cities why they are making the borders the boundaries of the cities and the continents and the countries and why are they fighting and they are indulging in wars and killing each other and this was not uh, proper, properly explained or i did not get the answer for this one from the height because it was not clear why because he could not see any boundaries from above he saw that the whole land is one the whole earth is round and there are no boundaries in between nothing is divided there are no gates and no borders and no boundaries so why men on earth have made the boundaries between the cities and why do they indulge in war and kill each other so this particular thing he did not understand from the jet also so this was not clear to him so here he is giving a question to on the human human race that why are people indulging in war when everything naturally is made one everyone as one so this is how very beautifully the poet is trying to pass the message of the international peace which we should have throughout the world and this is how he explains it so i hope this poem is clear students and if you like the video do hit the like button and share with your friends we'll be back soon with with more such videos till then take care and thank you